Today we uh, just got through the village in the last part, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right back into the thick of it. Um, first things first in this video: these medallions, shoot them when you see them. Shoot them; they are important. And here is exactly why. I will read this one note for you: fifteen blue medallions in total, seven in the farm, eight in the cemetery. For those who destroy ten or more, will be awarded. The rest is illegible, which basically means like, you know. If you don't get more than 10, it's it's no big deal. You you only need 10 of them to get the award, which is a gun. It's a pistol, which is actually, it's got a pretty unique quality to it. So uh, once we get that, I'll go more into that for you guys. But uh, So you want to shoot the, the, the medallion. I'm going to show you where all of them are in this part, just in case you want to get all of them. If you're like a completionist, like I am some of the time. Um, but it's 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 kind of, it's, it's, um, it's a hit or miss with me on uh, completion. Um, uh, right here, there's a pearl pendant that can get you some money, but if you shoot it right here, you're going to drop it in here and it's going to get all dirty, so what you want to do is shoot that first, and then you'll get it all nice and clean, which will in turn give you more money for it, which is good for you, because, you know, when you're trying to buy rocket launchers or, mu or health or ammo or anything like that, or you can't buy ammo, I'm sorry, but when you're trying to buy weapons and stuff like that, the more money, the better. Oh man, I am I am tired. I have super. I have a very very high amount of energy today, but I am also very tired. I'm gonna go ahead and. Oh, this is a gold chicken egg. You do not want to use those. You want to sell those. Those are worth money. Um, there's a second blue medallion right here, and then there's a third one right in this room. As soon as you come in here, you want to aim up and shoot this one right here. Um, I'm sorry if I sound all like my nose is really stuffed up because I'm getting kind of like a cough um, but so if that's annoying you guys I, I do apologize um, okay something I want to go into is uh, the red green and uh, yellow herbs the importance of each one the only one that can actually give you health on its own is the green herb but if you mix them all together and I'm not gonna do it right now I'm gonna use this for some health but uh, if you take them all together not only does it refill your health completely but it also makes your health meter makes it go up a little bit and that is super super helpful another thing I want to touch up on that I actually didn't do in my last video I'm still trying to get the hang of this game again is every time you finish a difficult area or something like that reload all your weapons go into your inventory and make sure every one of your weapons is reloaded because um, in situations like with that chainsaw guy, you saw that I kept pausing and switching to my shotgun very instantly and then, you know, taking him out and then switching back to my pistol. That's something that's really helpful in this game, is when you got your pistol out, say somebody's about to come up on you, you just gotta pause it, switch to your shotgun, and then boom. You know, it's super quick, it's super helpful. Not as uh, helpful as, you know, like the instant switching they have in most games, but it is definitely helpful. So make sure all your guns are always reloaded. Just in case of those rare occasions where you might need your shotgun or something like that. So we're going to go ahead and take this guy out. My Twitter is blowing up apparently. And then you want to look straight up into the third, or no, that's the fourth medallion in this area. So we're going to take that one out. And then there's a dude right here. Um, he almost got me, but uh, he didn't, so fail for him. Oh, pff, I cannot shoot today. So right, um, normally you do not want to do what I'm doing. You do not want to be just shooting all your bullets into these guys. You want to, oh geez, I knew that was going to hit me and I didn't even do anything about it. So you want to, you want to kick him and then you want to knife him so you can save yourself some ammo and, uh, get the killed before. See, this is why, uh, sometimes when I'm playing this game, even though I played it so many times through, that I die and stuff like that because I run out of ammo because sometimes I get all cocky and lazy and I just decide to keep shooting them instead of going up to them and knifing them and stuff like that which is what you want to do that is the part that uh, saves you the ammo and all that stuff and that's what you want to do so right here we got a guy hiding up here he never notices me until I get up here for some reason like no matter how oh geez he almost freaking got hit right there because I was being stupid no matter how many gunshots I shoot on this freaking area he never notices me until I go up there and he doesn't even leave me anything how rude um, we got some ammo do I got uh, okay I got a chicken egg I'm gonna use that for health 
But like I said, if you pick up the golden chicken eggs, you don't want to use those. Those are worth some money. Um, we got another blue medallion right here. This is the easiest spot to get it. And then if you turn around, there's one more right here. This is the spot I like to go to to get it. Um, oh my gosh, in, the, in my last part, I could not hit that thing. It took me like nine bullets to hit it. Uh, oh my goodness, I am so sorry. My nose is just, I can't breathe. And then there's one last one right here. Let's see if we can actually hit it. Nice, okay. So for the farm area, that's all we need. We just gotta get the, the rest in the cemetery area. And then we got all the blue medallions and we get ourselves a free weapon, which is always nice because not only do you get a nice new weapon, but then you can sell your older one and get some money, which is super, super helpful. Um, okay, so we're going to go here and then we're going to jump down just to the left right here and get behind this fence, which as you can see, normally you would not be able to do. Then we want to break this box and get a beer stein. Do not sell this right away there are things that you can get you can see there are little things in the on the side you can actually get more jewels and put them on there and make it worth a whole bunch of money i'm going to show you exactly where those parts are and where to get them and how to attach them there so you can get some more points so that's going to be super helpful for you guys um if you're watching this walkthrough and haven't played this game if you haven't played this game um, yet. Oh man, I remember these. These used to be super difficult back on the PS2. If you haven't played this game yet, it is, uh, for the GameCube, I believe, as it was, it was originally released on. It is also for the, um, oh jeez, I died. Dang it, man! See, that's what I'm talking about. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I wanted to try to get through this without dying, but, uh, we died right there. But, uh, I believe it was originally released on the GameCube, then it went to the PS2, and then it went to the Wii, and actually the Wii version is probably the funnest version of the game that I have played because you actually have to use the stick to aim, and that was the most challenging, and just to me it was the most fun one that I have ever played. And then it was also released obviously on HD for the Xbox 360 and the PS3. The Xbox 360 version actually is the one we are playing today. Um, Gosh, I can't believe, I'm, gonna, I'm so bummed out that we got that death. I, put, I made it through the first three parts earlier without a single death, and then we just get that stupid death because I wasn't prepared for the A and X. I couldn't tell if it was X and A, X and R. I couldn't tell if it was A and X or A and B. Like, uh, it's been so long since I've played this. So we're gonna hopefully do that. Hopefully this guy right over here won't kill me. I'm hoping I can get him. Alright, let's go ahead and take him out. Come on, you fall. Thank you. They light the dynamite, and sometimes they don't uh, explode right away. And they might have to just wait a while, but uh, it's best to try to aim for their uh, hands that are holding the dynamite, and that's what you can take them out with. Like this guy. Oh, jeez. That was so stupid. He's just. Oh, my gosh. I was outside, I didn't think I was going to get any damage from that. So now I will use the uh, the special health that I got, and as you can see it makes my health meter go up just a little, uh, maybe just a tiny bit, but every bit counts in this game. Um, please blow up, please blow up, thank you. Okay, we are just about to get to the cutscene where I will end this part. Oh, there's a hand grenade, we want to get that, kind of ironic finding a hand grenade with all these dynamite sticks flying around here. But right here is the first thing that you want for that beer stein, or beer stein, I don't know what it's called. It's a red cat's eye. Um, and then there's also a, an incendiary grenade over here. So what you want to do is go into your keys and treasures. You want to take the cat's eye, you want to combine and put it in the beer stein. There's two more, I believe it's red and yellow that are the other ones and then you know it'll just be worth a lot more we couldn't quite get that before it disappeared darn it but then you want to come over here and you can either kick down uh, the door three times or you can just knife the lock off which is what I usually do uh, make sure you're checking every crevice of the area if you're playing through this because like I said there's stuff hidden everywhere and you need everything you can possibly get in this game so we got wow okay jeez almost killed myself right there so we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna heal myself. Ah, uh, no, I don't have any health, darn it. See, that's what I'm talking about. You gotta be careful in this game. I do stupid stuff that gets me into lots of trouble. 
um, sometimes. Dang it, that couldn't quite get us to green, which is kind of a bummer. So we're gonna go over here, and we are gonna jump into a cutscene. I will see you guys in just one second. them no you <clears throat> okay I have only one very important question you got a smoke got gum perfect the big cheese what Alright you guys, there you have it, that is going to be the end of part number 3. I'm going to do uh, probably one mercenaries video today, um, but other than that, that's going to be it for probably today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, please like that video, if you, please hit that like button, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for some more and tell your friends about the Grub Army, tell them that this guy makes awesome walkthroughs, awesome games, plays all sorts of stuff, I upload every day so it's super awesome. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, I know I'm definitely enjoying uh, this part. Um, it's the end of the first chapter, 73% hit ratio, 37 enemies killed, and one death. God, I wish we didn't have got that stupid death. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out.